way to restore a landmark church on Long Island dating back to colonial times. The renovation focuses on the structure's iconic 100-foot-tall steeple. TV 1055's Long Island Bureau Chief Richard Rose has more. Inside the old First Presbyterian Church on Main Street in Huntington, parishioners are busily preparing classic Christmas decorations they'll sell to raise money for the church's community outreach. But they're equally excited about the scaffolding that's risen on the steeple, which towers over the community in preparation for its makeover. As you drive into town from the West End, you see the steeple way up in the sky, and it just sort of welcomes you to this wonderful town. As it has for more than 230 years, the now weather-worn steeple was built in 1784 after a previous steeple was torn down by invading British troops. During the American Revolution, the British Army decided to stay right here in Huntington. They were quartered here and used that sanctuary as a stable, as an armory. Reverend Miller is overseeing a million-dollar renovation of the church, first founded in 1658. Its rich history dots the walls and hallways, from photos of church fathers dating back a century to a bell that once rang from the previous steeple more than 300 years ago. It, too, was plundered by the British troops. They stole the bell to uh, use it for bullets against the uh, local armies. Fortunately, the British never melted down the bell, and it was recovered after the war. Now the focus is on stripping and repainting the steeple's faded wood exterior. The renovation will include restoring the church's original rounded windows design. It's wonderful at Christmas time in the in the um, in the windows. We put little candles, so it's truly a beacon at, at the holidays. The work inside the scaffolding is scheduled to be completed by early December, when the restored steeple will once again remind Long Island of their colonial origins. In Huntington, Richard Rose, TV 1055.